emergency.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise if you are able for our national anthem, sung by Gabby Cagnette, senior choir member. Footsteps and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallant first to run. And the rockets, red glare, the bombs bursting. still there. Oh, say does that it's star-spangled banner yet wave. Oh, the land of the free and the Please be seated. Good evening. Welcome board members, Dr. Storsley, Dr. Landry, Dr. Carter, fellow administrators, faculty and staff, parents, guardians, families and friends, and the Grays Lake High School class 2023. You may or may not remember, but in January of 2019, I talked to you guys about 1,600 days ago. You came into the theater with your parents. I told you that night, we're going to provide opportunities that will challenge you academically and socially in your journey towards a diploma. You faced and conquered academic challenges such as uncovering and understanding allegory in Lord of the Flies, playing with Punnett squares in biology, those tricky recessive genes, right? And then everybody knows A squared plus Yes, thank you, Pythagoras. These are challenges you guys faced. You conquered them during your early high school years. Then we faced new challenges. You had to pivot to a new way of learning, but your ability to adapt and persevere allowed you to meet and overcome these challenges and make you eligible to sit before us and all the people who came out to support you for your last high school event. Your formal high school learning is complete. However, your journey doesn't end here. Instead, you've come to a crossroads of, thought, of sorts, one that will take each of you in different directions in life. Some of you will enter the workforce. Others will choose to attend college or technical programs in the fall. And then there are those among you who have chosen to defend the nation. You've decided to join the armed forces, whether by enlisting or through an ROTC program. Please stand and be recognized. You are always welcome to come back to our Veterans Day Assembly. Students, let's keep in mind the important lessons you've learned here at Grays Lake Central. We've prepared you for life skills for your next steps. Remember to enjoy each step of your journey because the road of life is about enjoying each moment, cherishing each person who comes into your life, and celebrating each success along the way. Seniors, I'm confident you'll continue to make us proud like you have already in so many ways in the classroom, on the stage, on the fields or courts, and just by simply by growing up into the young adults who sit before us tonight. When you achieve your future success in your chosen field, come back to Central, come home to Central and share your story with the kids who are younger than you. They will enjoy that. On behalf of the Board of Education, faculty, staff, and administration, it's been my privilege to work with these students. You have an enthusiasm for learning, you have strong character, and are now ready to take on the world. 
Class of 2023, the 75th graduating class in District 127 history, we offer best wishes to you now and always. Welcome to your graduation ceremony. <laughs> Members of our senior choir will now perform the class of 2023 senior song, Go the Distance. That was wonderful. Thank you, ladies. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce the student's choice for staff speaker for this ceremony, Mr. Steve Reitman. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Board of Education 
Dr. Storsley, District and Grays Lake Central High School administrators, faculty, parents, family members, friends, and most importantly, our graduates. Let's give them all a great big hand right now. <laughs> Class of 2023, thank you for this opportunity to speak with you this evening. The road to get here for you was very different from most other classes. From what seemed like a normal experience for two thirds of your freshman year, to a very different learning from home experience for your sophomore and junior years, to being back here for your senior year, you've had to pivot and make a lot of changes. It wasn't easy, but you figured it out and you made it here to this moment. Yeah, clap for that, that's cool. This class has been very successful, both in and out of the classroom. Some of the many remarkable athletic achievements this year include the football team making it to the second round of the playoffs for the second consecutive year. The boys volleyball team winning 27 matches, the most by any volleyball team in school history. The boys and girls track and cross country teams, which continue to be excellent. The baseball team, who is making another deep run in the state tournament. Stop by if you can tomorrow, right over there. Sectional championship at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's going to be this nice tomorrow. Let's get out there and let's win that sectional tomorrow. Good luck, guys, tomorrow. And the boys basketball team, who truly captured the attention of this community by making it to the super sectionals for the first time in school history. Our academic teams were also very strong with state qualifiers in journalism, state and national qualifiers in FBLA, and an amazing run again by our math team. Let's not forget another terrific set of performances in theater and music. And you can see that it's been a great year for many members of the class of 2023. Congrats on these and so many others. And while the success was evident by many, this was a rough four years for so many students. COVID was difficult for many who had to care for sick relatives, deal with their own illnesses, attempt to be a student while caring for family members during the day, or simply trying to be a student online from home, many times beyond traditional school hours. Many struggled to get through these four years, not just with COVID, but simply because some of you expressed that school was just not a place you enjoyed. Hearing your stories brought me back to my days in high school, which I remember is not exactly the happiest days of my life. Unlike what you hear about teachers, not everyone was an enthusiastic straight A student. I mean, we have some of them here, but I wasn't one of them. I'm pretty sure that none of my teachers would ever believe that I would be a teacher and frankly, I really couldn't disagree with them. I didn't really ever feel great about going to classes that didn't interest me. And I can safely say that there are some in the class of 2023 that feel the same. I also had no idea what I wanted to do when I graduated. Like many of you, I had to answer the age old question from friends, family and others. Well, what are you planning to do after high school? Are you going to college? Where are you going? What are you planning to study? I was 18, I had no direction. I had no idea what I was gonna do. Honestly, it wasn't until later in life where I decided to go back to school to be a teacher. Many of you are in the same position and I am here to tell you that you will figure it out. You are all leaving here with a high school diploma and you can decide what happens next. For those of you that have a plan and are ready to get going on your path, Know that getting to your destination will have roadblocks from time to time. You may also wind up changing your major, finding a different path. Understand that failure is part of this experience. Everyone here tonight, even the most successful people, have failed. 
I failed a lot. Experiencing failure is not really an option, but how we deal with failure is. Having the will and strength to overcome failure and keep going is what helps people to be successful. Many of you know that sports is a huge passion in my life. Being a member of a team teaches you about playing for one another, respecting your teammates, respecting your coaches, respecting your opponents, respecting officials. It also helps you deal with adversity. 43 years ago, a sporting event happened in the Winter Olympics in Lake Placid, New York, that grabbed the attention of a worldwide audience. Many of you that are in our audience tonight remember that event. The United States Olympic hockey team was about to face off against the dominant Soviet Union team in a game that most gave the United States just about no chance to win. Coach Herb Brooks challenged his squad with words that motivated them for success. Great moments are born from great opportunity. That's what you've earned here tonight. One game. If we played them ten times, they might win nine. But not this game. Not tonight. Tonight, we skate with them. Tonight, we stay with them. And we shut them down because we can. Tonight, we are the greatest hockey team in the world. You were meant to be here tonight. This is your time. Now go out there and take it. Class of 2023, there are many tremendous opportunities for you. This is your time to show the world what you can be. For those of you that have had me in class any time during the last four years, you know that I try to give some tips to help you be successful. And yes, admittedly, sometimes I speak maybe a little too long. Fair. However, since this is my last chance to speak with you before you move forward, here are a few short things to consider. First, while you aren't on a worldwide stage like the 1980 Olympic hockey team, never feel like anything is impossible. Start by figuring out what you'd like to do, then do it to the best of your ability. Once you find your passion and have the drive to meet your goals, you will be unstoppable. Second, take, all, take care of all the people who helped you get to this day. Your parents, grandparents, siblings, and extended family appreciate this day as much, if not more than you. They work tirelessly to provide so many opportunities for you. Thank them. Tell them how much they mean to you and give them a hug. You will make their day. If there were staff in this building that helped you in some way, please find them either in person or with an email and thank them. A few minutes of your time is really all it takes and trust me, it is very meaningful to them. Third, have fun. In a world where everyone is busy and many times too serious, take time every day to have some fun. For me, it's listening to music, attending sporting events, or having a meal with family or friends. I make time for at least one of these every day. Life is full of challenges that can be pretty stressful. Even if it is just for a few minutes, the minimum you should do every day is smile and have some fun. In the spirit of having fun this evening, take a look around you right now. Soak in these final moments of GCHS. Some of you know that my favorite day of the week is Friday. Fridays are special around here because of a tradition started a few years ago. Fist Bump Friday was started to help celebrate the little things, like making it through a school week. Since appropriately, this ceremony is on a Friday, take a moment to celebrate with the neighbor, as tonight is more than just a little thing, it's a great big thing. For the final time in high school, for all of you that know it, come in with me right now. It is Fist Bump Friday every single Friday. All the best to all of you. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. Reitman. It's my pleasure to introduce one of the students speakers for tonight, Cabot Postal.
thank you all. Um, there is nothing more awkward than walking up to the stage like that. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed that wait. Um, so I typed a speech, but no one's read it in like a week. So I could really say what, whatever I want now. Um, but I feel like they'd maybe kick me off. So I have to be boring. Um, but good evening, Grays Lake Central class of 2023, and congratulations on finally making it to the end. Um, before I begin, I'd like to thank Mr. Landry, Dr. Storsley, and the board, the amazing GCHS teachers and staff, and most importantly, my family, friends, and peers. I'm sure you're all beyond excited to get your diplomas, go home, and never hear the word Ramily again, and to that I say too bad. Um, I'd like to share a few of my thoughts as we close this chapter of our lives and turn the page to the next one. We sit here today at the end of a long four years that have been filled with challenges and unexpected twists and turns. We started in the fall of 2019 as freshmen, overwhelmed by all of the new places and faces that we were encountering. And then, just as we were finally starting to figure out where our classrooms are and that the Rams Head isn't cursed after all, COVID hit. And we spent the spring and entire next year at home, away from the school and community we had just started to become a part of. We then returned as juniors with a new schedule to learn, SATs to prepare for, and far too many people asking us, like Mr. Reitman said, what our plans are for after graduation. And so as I've thought about the past four years, one of the ideas that stuck with me is that of the light at the end of the tunnel. Our time in high school has been a whirlwind filled with enormous obstacles and challenges, whether it be the normal stress of being in high school to worries about health and family and what path we want to take for our lives. And so I'm sure for a lot of us, it might not have seemed like that light at the end of the tunnel was there. But nevertheless, as I look around, I see so many ways that our class has made our own light to guide us. We have accomplished so much, from academics to sports to activities. And it may not have been easy, but we've been able to adapt and overcome. And as we graduate, that's something each and every one of us can and should be proud of, and something that we should keep in mind as we face the obstacles on the road ahead. But not only can we create a light at the end of the tunnel, we can also be a light for others. I owe so much to the people who helped guide me as a scared, wide-eyed freshman, and I'm sure that if you close your eyes, you'll see who those people were for you whether it was a family member who's always been there for you, an upperclassman who you looked up to in your first years at Central, or a friend who's been with you through a tough time. Some of those people for me are sitting here today. And so as you move forward, try to be that person for someone else. We're all facing our own unique difficulties and challenges, and so being a mentor a shoulder to lean on in a tough time, or just someone who's there to listen can make all the difference in another person's life. And this light that we create is something that we can share with the world at large. Once we graduate, we have the chance to go out into the world. Some of us into the workforce, others to trade school, the military, and college, both here in Illinois and beyond. Regardless, we all have the extraordinary opportunity to forge our own path. Our society and world face so many challenges, and our experience over the past four years has been shaped by many of them, whether it be public health crises, climate change, inequality, or growing threats to the civil rights of ourselves or our friends and peers. As we depart high school, we have a chance to make our mark on the world in ways both large and small. So use your voice for change, speak out for the causes you believe in, and help create a future that's kinder and fairer than the present, and build a tomorrow that's better and brighter than today. At the end of the day, we're never going to be dealt the perfect set of cards. 
But even if it seems like there's no end in sight and no light at the end of the tunnel, know that you have the power to make one for yourself and those around you. When I look at the class of 2023, I see 350 people with such incredible potential and talent. We have all faced obstacles and struggles, and yet here we stand nonetheless. Even if you can't wait to put high school behind you, just sitting here today is a testament to your extraordinary power and perseverance. And if nothing else, take pride in that. Like I said, we've accomplished so much over the past four years, and we leave behind a legacy that will be hard to top. Although I challenge the juniors, sophomores, and freshmen who can't wait to be sophomores to do their best. So let's extend our achievements into the future and make a mark on the world that we can be proud of. Now, I'd like to end my speech on a personal note. Those of you who knew me as a freshman can attest to how timid and quiet I was. I lacked confidence both in myself and what I had to give to the world. And so I'm so thankful to the people, especially those sitting here graduating today, who helped me realize that we all matter. Those of you who've sat behind me in class know that I like to do puzzles and games. And a puzzle isn't complete unless every single piece is included, and that's the exact same of our graduating class. We all bring a unique story, perspective, and light that deserves to be shared with those around us. And as hard as it can be to remember that sometimes, I hope we keep it in mind as we move forward. Now, to bring in my fancy literary quote, as the great artist Beyonce once said, it's not the diamonds and it's not the pearls that determine your worth, not whether or where you go to college, not your grades, your job, or your salary. That value is inherent to all of us. No matter where the next four years and whatever comes beyond take you, know that you each bring something special and irreplaceable to the table and I can't wait to see how you all share it with the world. But also, and perhaps most importantly, don't forget to stop and just have fun. Enjoy this moment, enjoy the summer break that is so well deserved, and whatever comes beyond. You are all such amazing and talented people, and I'm so proud to have been beside you all these past four years, and I cannot wait to see what you accomplish. Thank you all, and to the Grays Lake Central Class of 2023, Congratulations. Well done, Cabot. It is my privilege to introduce our second senior speaker for the class of 2023, Simisola Oshinaike. Cabot wasn't lying, that walk is so nerve-wracking, oh my god, okay. Good evening, family, friends, staff, and most importantly, my classmates of 2023. My name is Simi Sola Oshinaike, and it is a true blessing and honor to be standing here speaking in front of all of you. On behalf of my fellow soon to be Grays Lake alumni, I want to start off by thanking all of our support systems here with us tonight. Without you all here to guide us, teach us, and inspire us, we would not be where we are today. And to my peers, I want one thing to remain in your minds and hearts as we begin our new chapters in life, and that is to take in the good moments and forever let go of the bad. Like Daniel Caesar said, in this life, pain is inevitable, but misery is a choice. You get to choose how your story plays out, and if you will back down or continue fighting and striving towards your dreams and goals in life. Each and every single day that you wake up is just another chance to slay your demons and win your battle. Now, I could definitely describe these past four years as being some of the hardest times of my life, struggling with trying to find myself and who I wanted to be while trying to fit into standards of who I thought I should be. However, by the time my senior year came around, I was, not able, I was able to learn more about myself and connect with who I truly was and who I truly wanted to be. 
Not only was I inspired by my struggles to seek out a career and future in helping others with their mental health, but I was also taught to use the pain as motivation to keep going. Growing up, I struggled, I struggled with my own insecurities, fears of not being good enough, along with other mental battles. I was never the type to go out and put those struggles on a platter for everyone to see, but that never changed the fact that they were very much there. Struggling with being confident in my own skin, my own hair, my sports, my career choices, and so much more. I sometimes struggled to even find the words to describe how I was truly feeling, causing me to shut out the people I love and leading me to complete and entire isolation. Now, I won't act like I didn't have people who tried to help me because I did, and for that, I am truly grateful to those people who saw my internal fight. But in the end, it led me to realize one thing. You have to do it all for yourself. As many times as someone could encourage me to keep going and tell me how beautiful or strong I was, there was no point unless I truly believed so myself. When I first moved out here to Grays Lake, Illinois, it was a huge adjustment for an 11-year-old me. I decided to go by my American middle name, Elizabeth, rather than my real name. When people asked me why I ever did that, I told them it was simply to help with my teachers pronouncing it. However, the truth was it was all due to fear, fear of being different. I already stood out incredibly by being the tallest girl in my grade and now one of the only black girls in the building. I didn't like the idea of standing out and so I shrunk myself. I shrunk myself down to a box so that I would not outshine others, but so that I would shine equally as bright as the person sitting next to me. Despite my many attempts, I still continued to feel out of place and as though I had no sense of belonging in the midst of my peers. I realized it was time for a change, so I made the active decision to be acknowledged by my real first name rather than hide behind the alias of who I thought I wanted to be. My high school years provided me with exceptional memories and lessons all throughout my life that I will forever hold cl close to me. Although putting myself through that intentional isolation, Grays Lake Central did an excellent job at combating that and working to make me feel included and part of a real community. Through various programs and classes, including Black Student Union, volleyball, track and field, Green Dot, PSP, and so much more, I've been able to connect with people I typically would not speak to and form new friendships. Not only have I learned how to step out of my comfort zone and strive for more than I ever thought I was capable of, but I've also learned the importance of keeping an open mind in all areas of my life. Overcoming these obstacles not only strengthened me, but also created me as a person. And for that, I am truly grateful for each and every tear I have shed and moments I have felt defeated or at a loss. If I never were to endure these difficult times, I would not be able to speak to you all tonight. So I carry this with me as I move on to the next chapter of my life. I shall not and will not fall to any hardships thrown at me, but I will stand tall and know that God is guiding me through it all. I'll be courageous, prideful, and humble, and I invite you all to do the same. As we sit here tonight, I want you all to take a second to reflect on all of the different moments that have made up our high school years. Moments that not only could have built us up, but also broken us down. If we had allowed ourselves to fall to those difficult times, we as a class would not get the opportunity to walk across the stage. And by giving up, we would have stripped ourselves of the blessings and, op and possibilities that the world has to offer us. So before we all leave here tonight, I ask that you make a promise to yourself that you will never ever allow the fear of what could happen prevent or hold you back from achieving greatness. I speak unto you all in hopes of inspiring someone to keep fighting and to keep going in life. Those insecurities, fears, struggles, and hardships, they don't define who you are. They're simply adding to your story that you will one day get to share with your family and friends. As Booker T. Washington once said, it often requires more courage to suffer in silence than to rebel, more courage not to strike back than to retaliate, and more courage to be silent than to speak. So I say to you all, don't feel weak because of what you have not said, but find strength in what you've already overcome by yourself. Through all of my trials and tribulations, I'm here to tell you today that I, Simisola Elizabeth Areroju Oluashu Refumi Aduni Oshinaike, am proud of who I am, where I come from, and all that I have done in life. <laughs> For anyone here tonight who has made it past the struggles, know you are seen, you are heard, you are loved, and you are needed. You are more than enough, and the hard work you've put in this far will forever be worth it. This is only the beginning, and now you know you already have one believer supporting you. Tonight, I step into this world with grace, pride, and extreme gratitude. I look forward to what I will accomplish and how I will change the world. I hope you all can say the same. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2023.
Thank you, Simisola. I'm pleased to introduce our third senior speaker for the class of 2023, Luke Mudd. All right, before I start, I thought I should get a selfie for uh, you know the one time. So everybody pose real quick. Three, two, one. Hopefully that turns out good. I got 26 more pictures to take before I can see it. So we'll see. Hello, Grays Lake Central's class of 2023. Parents and anyone who came out to witness this memorable day. My name is Luke Mudd and I am honored to be chosen to represent this class of creative young minds. Before I get into it, this was supposed to be a surprise for my mom, but you know, everyone likes to look at their phones 24 seven and the programs were sent out digitally because you know, why not? And you should, but mom, you should still get your camera out so you can post this on Facebook later. But sincerely, I am deeply honored for this opportunity. On August 15th, 2019, we all took our first steps into Grays Lake Central and boy, if we only knew what we were getting ourselves into. I mean, everyone preached to us that high school was gonna be a roller coaster of a ride, and they were not lying. High school was filled with a bunch of ups and downs and twists and turns. But we all started on that beautiful day as all our little freshman selves walked the halls for the first time. I remember walking into freshman PE and seeing my two best friends in a class full of kids I've never seen before in my life. This was high school, baby. Coach Pitt took attendance and got to me and screamed out, Mud. For the ones I don't, that, who don't know, I had three cousins who all went here to Central before me. Two of them are on the uh, Wall of Fame, of course. And they made a n name for the Mud family here. Pitt asked me the question I was fully expecting to be asked, are you related to all the other Muds? To which I replied, Joey, Danny, and Savannah, yeah, they're my cousins. I had practiced this response in a mirror a ton because it would be the first of many times I would have to answer the same question. They created such a great legacy that I felt the need to live up to in one way or another. But at the same time, I wanted to create my own legacy at Central, create my own successes, and I believe I did just that. And not only did I do this, but so did every other freshman that walked into the field house doors on that day. Legacies that will never be forgotten. Legacies that people will admire for years. All of these legacies started just after that first day ended. The real party had finally started and we all officially came. Rams. Something that was preached since day one is what it means to be a Ram. The school's version of this is to be respectful, accountable, and mature. Even though I think those attributes fit us all pretty well, I've come up with three of my own attributes for what it means to be a Ram. Mine are relentless, admirable, and memorable. First, we are all relentless. We all have big dreams and aspirations that most people would think are crazy. Our mindsets are full of the no dream too big, no person too small mentality. But this is because our class puts in the time and effort to succeed and create extraordinary things. Something about this group of people that strikes me is that we are all people that seem to never give up, no matter what, except for the last month of senior year, because as we all know, we just wanted to get to this day. Grays Lake Central's class of 2023 will do remarkable things. Sitting in this crowd, we have young adults who will tackle all walks of life. And there's one thing I can promise you. It is that we will continue to never give up until we exceed expectations because that's what Rams do. The second attribute of being a Ram is being admirable. People look up to this class because how we all carry ourselves as students, citizens, and just people in general. The underclassmen look up to us because quite frankly, they want to be us. Even parents admire us because how we made a name for ourselves and this school. Even if you don't think anyone sees you as a role model right now, just know that that will change. I know 10 years down the road that other people will be looking to us for advice and insight on whatever it is we are good at because we are all pretty good at a lot of things. The third attribute of a Ram is being memorable. The class of 2023 will go down in the history books as possibly the greatest class to ever go through Central. 
People will be talking about this group of talented people for as long as Grays Lake Central is open and probably even longer. We have accomplished so much in a span of four years, and so much so that I actually made a scroll of all of our achievements. So uh, give me a second while I give this to uh, Mr. Landry. Whatever. This thing took me about 45 minutes and 82 staples to complete, so you better not rip this, Mr. Przbilski. All right, good. And to all of the teachers that staple packets together, I give you high props because stapling this was the worst 45 minutes of my senior year. This thing is filled with all of our athletic and academic achievements, from basketball to cross country to the math team and debate team. And don't forget, baseball is still going on, and I think you guys should come out at 11 a.m. tomorrow to watch us play because we're going to kill Lake Forest. Yeah. Countless records broken, and some of which will stand for many years to come. I know I didn't get all of our accomplishments in the scroll, but 44 pages was enough. Legacies. We created a legacy for not just ourselves, but for the Ram as well. The big picture is that we represent what it means to be a Ram beyond how we have been taught. Congratulations to accomplishing one more milestone, graduating high school. Something my dad tells me every night before I go to bed is best friends, always and forever, no matter what. And this saying sticks with me throughout my day-to-day -day life. Because not only does it apply to him, but it applies to my friends, my teachers, and everyone in the Grays Lake Central community. No matter what drags you down in life, whether that is a rejection from a job, a mistake you made in sports, or even getting called down to the dean because you were falsely accused of stealing a sign from Lakes and having Mr. Schwab tell you you have to write a $21.67 check to Lakes High School, you will always be a Ram. You will always have a family here at Central, always and forever. Because even though you might not have been best friends with the person you are sitting next to right now, you all represented the green and white. And wherever life takes you from here on out, just remember to never stop trying and never stop being Ram. Don't be sad it's over, be glad it happened. And everyone, you know what time it is. It's time for everyone's favorite chant, one last time, the gang green chant. So stand if you are able, right now, that means stand up, and wrap your arms around the people next to you if you please. We will start this way, and we will start slow. Everyone, give it your all one last time. Gang green, gang green, we bleed green for our team. Gang green, gang green, we bleed green for our team. Gang green, gang green, we bleed green for our team. Gang green, gang green, we bleed green for our team. Iconic. And before I go, I raise, ugh, I raise this iconic stale cookie as a toast to the Grays Lake Central class of 2023. And I want to thank all of you guys for a special four years and to thank Central for the lifelong memory, memories that it gave each and every one of us. Thank you guys for your time today and have a blessed day. Luke, the 1980s called. I had that camera in the 80s. Dr. Storsley, District Administration, and members of the Grays Lake Community High School Board of Education, I hereby acknowledge that the members of the Class of 2023, as listed in the program, have successfully completed the graduation requirements and are eligible to receive the Grays Lake Central High School Diploma. To acknowledge each graduate, we request that the audience respond with polite applause and remain in their seats. Our faculty readers this evening are Mrs. Melissa Dodge and Mr. Miguel Perez. Row one, please rise and come forward. You guys ready? Ready. There we go. All right, have fun.
Brian Acosta. Owen Agostino. Sarah Acombi. Injana Alex. Jeremiah Almendares. Alan Alonso. Steven Anderson. Connor Anglum. Arpit Anal Idikula. Zachary Antonucci. Zachariah Arapura. Olivia Arce. Chloe Arcilla. Caitlin Armstrong. Drew Arnapolin. Silas Ashby. Kevin Atkinson. Andrew Oxberger. Najarius Baker. Eden Balazi. Hannah Bank. Aiden Barger. Everett Barnett. Ethan Bartels. Tyler Bastek. Amber Beebe. Zephaniah Benson. Abigail Bergonio. Kyle Bianchi. Michael Bosque. Bergen Bashart. Adam Bottomley. Rocco Bowser. Aspen Brown. David Braun. Keegan Brown. Matthew Brewster. Jack Brown. Ava Bruce. Ella Bruinis. Luke Buttvillis. Michaela Cadavona. Naya Caldwell. Gabrielle Cagnetti. Jaylene Caraballo.
Adam Cardamom. Zachariah Carson. Valeria Ceja. Michaela Chambers. Lucas Cheney. Jose Chavez. Emma Christie. Demetrius Clark. Haley Clinton. Caitlin Colson. Jane Conlon. Samuel Cooper. Anali Cordova. William Cotron. Aaron Kramer. Hyacinth Quateros. Ian Cunningham. Brooke Danka. Devin David. Alexandra de la Mora. Edward DeBoer. Ralph De Leon. <laughs> Alexis Delgado. Sienna De La Peruda. Elizabeth De Loria. Daniel Denny. Sarah Derala. Emily Diaz. Ty Diaz. Katie Dinsmore. Leah Dirks. 
Andrea Dollison. David Dominguez. Michael Drevlin. Caden Dwerkop. Ireland Dufay. Brandon Duffin. Secret Dermis. Annalise Eisenberg. Ethan Espinelli. Emily Espinosa. Dennis Estep. Leslie Estrada. Calvin Fine. Mariah Felon. Alejandro Fernandez. Aiden Figueroa. Adam Fitzgerald. Alexis Folker. Julia Fontaneda. Arturo Galan. Christian Gomez. Rose Garay Rodriguez. Juan Garay. Eric Garcia. Michaela Garrity. Benjamin Gens. Jack Gerbasi. Chase Gibson. Jake Gibson. Jesus Gloria. Jacqueline Gomez Luna. Anaya Gonzalez. Emily Goodrum. Aaliyah Gordon. Ella Grabnik. Dylan Graff. Parker Greenfield. Danielle Gregg. Jenna Grark. Katherine Guckenberger. Garrett Gunther. Augustus Hack. Annika Hansen.
Marcus Hansis. Brennan Haydish. Ryan Hayes. Camden Hevelin. Sydney Hype. <laughs> Emily Held. Paige Herring. Julian Hernandez. Lindsay Hernandez. Matthew Heipel. Braden Hicks. Caleb Hines. Elizabeth Hoffman. Andy Hoke. Marcus Hornung. Adela Huerta. Ryan Huntington. Chase Irvin. Christopher Isaacson. Callie James. Isabella Jasper. Joanne J. Jackson Jensen. Abigail Johnson. Bryson Jones. Duncan Jones. Meadow Joswick. Taya Marie Kalis. Emma Kalmus. Jaden Conte. Trinity Kellogg. Yasmin Kalaf. Ahad Khan. Daniel Kim. Samuel King. <laughs> Sophia King. <laughs> Zoe Klemp. <laughs> Justin Coleman. <laughs> Conlin Cornet. Cooper Katsamanis. Jacob Katsamanis. Jake Cruz. Yeah. 
Simon Kulagowski. Alexander Kujeha. Evan Kujeha. Mila Kutsin. Caitlin Lapidas. Connor Larkin. Daniel Laba Laban Lauban Amarian Lawson Kathleen Lianos Ashton LeBlanc, Olivia Lee, Emily Leon, Madeline Lanowski, Victoria Lozano. Brian Germain Lucero. Jace Lusak. Layla Lutvi. Christian Luvianos. Isabella Mack. <laughs> Elizabeth Majorov. William Maiden. <laughs> Maria Maldonado. <laughs> Ava Margison. <laughs> Cameron Marson. Garrett Martin. Jorge Martinez. Daniel Marianovich. I love you, Mom. Emlyn Mauricio. Augustine Maynard, Austin Maynard, Kaylin McGahey, Liam McHaley, Rebecca McPherson. Ethan Menoni, Joshua Miller, Caden Miller, Owen Miller, Robert Ming.
Mia Minor. Jaslyn Middlestat. Vesleva Mizuk. Madeline Monahan. Michael Monahan. Lane Montoya. Maya Moreno. Tony Morgan. Justin Moser. Charles Matola. Maxwell Madaki. <laughs> Luke Mudd. Will Mueller. Grace Mullins. Deanna Muniz. Carla Munoz. Nicholas Munoz. Connor Murphy. Connor Musse, uh, Nolan Musse. <laughs> Mega Nambir. <laughs> Olivia Namovitz. <laughs> Andrea Nava. Anna Nelson. Thomas Newman. Alana Nicholas. Morgan Nicholas. Zachary Norberg. Diego Nunez Tellez. Rachel O'Baker. Imogen O'Dell. Christian Ortiz. Aliyah Osborne. Simisola Oshinaike. Jed Padernos. Victoria Papa Nicolau. Eleanor Paschos. Ashe Patel. Anjali Patel. Janish Patel. Cameron Paul. Dominic Pavel. Thomas Picor.
Aiden Pelletier. Andrew Perez. Isaac Perez. Nicole Perez. Rolando Perez. Allison Perry. Hannah Peterson. Patrick Piela. Victoria Piela. Kayla Pierce. Leo Petruzinski. Carolina Pintinas. Aiden Pogue. Riley Pollitt. Javier Ponce. Palomin Pope. Cabot Postal. <laughs> Valerie Powell. <laughs> Abigail Pritz. <laughs> Madeline Pritz. Paulina Pukel. Andrew Kwan. Prale Ray. Presley Reiner. Diego Reyes. Vicente Reyes. Enrique Resendiz. Christopher Rogers. Sophia Rondoni. Diana Rosas. Drayden Rowe. Henry Rowe. Ryan Ruiz. Alexander Russell. Emily Russo. Damian Salinas. Macy Sanborn. Carissa Santana. Isabel Santello. Angelina Santos. Alexander Scharf. Tatum Sherman.
William Schufreiter. Kendall Scott. Kennedy Scott. Raymond Sereno. Nicholas Sesignon. Connor Shapiro. Layla Sheffy. Evan Short. Valeria Silva Gomez. Ella Slitaris. Mia Slitaris. Helena Smith. Kyrie Smith. Steven Sosnowski. Luciano Spalding. Jacob Stanislawski. Aiden Stanton. Trish, Tristan Starzak. Alvaro Soyano. Linnea Streck. Matilda Strong. Dylan Steisen. Charles Salcala. Rebecca Salco. Kate Sullivan. Alexis Summers. Ella Surawick. Lauren Suvanich. Logan Switek. Caitlin Swigert. Amara Syed. Raciel Tapia. Kai Taylor. Jetton Terzia. Ella Twos. <laughs> Ella Thody. Zoe Toms. Charlie Top. Jason Torres. Christopher Vargas. Sandy Vargas. J. 
Jameer Vaughn. Lucas Veenstra. Catherine Velasquez. Raven Vergara. April Villada. Carter Vincent. Jawad Wardak. Ailish Watanabe. James Weber. Morgan Wareheim. Jason Wells. Chanel Waylin. Noah White. Daniel Whittington. Kaylee Wilkinson. Annabelle Williams. Samaria Williams. Maxwell Wool. Kaylani Ya. Peyton Zastro. Matthias Zipfel. By virtue of the authority invested in me by the Board of Education of Grays Lake District 127 and its bylaws, and on recommendation from Grays Lake Central High School, I do hereby confer today, June 2nd, 2023, this class, Grays Lake Central Class of 2023, has satisfactorily completed all requirements of District 127 and therefore may be awarded these diplomas. Class of 2023, it is my distinct privilege to certify you as official graduates of Grays Lake Community High School District 127, from this moment on, you'll should be considered alumni in good standing. Congratulations. <laughs> Why are your hats still on? Oh wait, no, 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 sorry. Don't give me the mic. It's not a good idea. We'll give it over to Mr. Landry. Superintendents can riff. It's fine. <laughs> Not today, though. <laughs> uh, will Cabot, Simisola, and Luke please come to the stage? Grays Lake Alumnus Class of 2023, please rise. Luke, are you one? You're three. Cabot, you're one. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay. Prepare up, guys.
Tassel. Okay, graduates, remember you guys will pick up your diplomas in the south end zone. And Mr. Kapler, are you ready? Cue the band.